Hey guys, now we've got our guitar tuned, we've got to learn to play some chords. There are thousands of chords, uh, and if you pick up your guitar chord finder uh, or application on the iPod or iPhone, there's just there's, there's thousands of them. You don't need to know that many. Um, I tend to stick mainly with the major chords, the minor chords, uh, seventh chords, depending on what you're playing, minor sevenths and the odd others that you'll pick up as you're, say, learning a particular song. So if you, you want to do a particular song that's got, say, a diminished or an augmented chord or a ninth or a thirteenth or something, uh, just learn it for the song. They're not something that I tend to keep in my heads. Um, now, you will find on your book you'll have something like a diagram like, say, that. And let's start with a G. And you'll notice there's numbers on the frets. They refer to one, two, three, and four. Now with something like a G chord, it's got, let me show you up close, we have got a two here, three there, four there. Now the trick is, you need to keep your thick fingers close to and just behind the frets. You also need to keep your knuckles that way you will have a tendency at the start for them to collapse and kill the string next to it. So it's a little tricky, it's going to take uh, anywhere from an hour or two to several hours to really get your hands to be able to make each string sound clearly and not hit the one next to it. Thumb I tend to put somewhere around the back, wherever it needs to be to give me a little bit of extra pressure opposite the fingers. Now that's a G. G, D and C are probably the first three chords to learn. You can use them for literally hundreds of songs. C is either like that, and again use your chord finder to show you the correct fingerings for them. You don't always play all the notes. Sometimes you'll see a little X up the top on the diagram and sometimes you'll see a zero on the diagram. That means you play that string open and the X means you don't play it. Again, keep your knuckles that way. Stop them from collapsing inwards and you'll have to move your fingers around a fair bit for a start get each note to sound cleanly. Have a rest, do it again. Have a rest, try your G. Once you've played those a fair few times and got relatively comfortable with getting your fingers into the right positions, get the foot going. Now we've got to learn to change from chord to chord so you can do it pretty quickly. takes time uh, and practice. There's no shortcuts to that. You really have to train the muscles to go from one chord to the other and remember what they're doing. I'd get my foot tapping straight away. So as slow as you need to go, so I'd start my foot going one, two, three, four. I'm down strokes with your plectrum. Two, three, four, one. Now see, I'm not stopping the rhythm. I'm playing this as slow as I need to go to change from one chord to the other without stopping or interrupting the rhythm. There's nothing worse than seeing someone do this. Go slow. Go as slow as you need to go. Two, three. best habit you can get into. How do I hold the plectrum? Something like that, thumb on the back. So you'll see all sorts of different grips, uh, whatever you sort of seem to find comfortable, that sort of works for me. 
and I tend to curl up my two other fingers and pop them in there. Alright, so for a start with your chords, I'd learn your G, D, C, these are all your major chords, so D is D major, we just call it D. Uh, it's only when they become minors or sevenths that we add the minor and the seventh on there. Uh, I'd start with your majors, so you've got uh, your A, your B, C, D, E, F and G. Now F took me hours, because you have to flatten your first finger across those two frets. And then do something like that, if I remember correctly. And that took me hours and hours and hours to get my finger to do that. So if you sort of you, you, you sort of get sort of half an hour in it and you're going, this is impossible, my fingers can't do this, they will eventually. But it might take you, you know, many hours to, to get them going. Alright, well have a look at rhythms next. <laughs> 